N A S P. Or people used to say NASP. And then we found out from Sheila. Shout out to you, Sheila, that she's like, please say N A S P. What does that stand for? The National Association of Specialty Pharmacies. This is their annual conference. We are so excited. You've heard me talk about this all day today. And that's because um, it's just time to get together. It's time to be infused in the NASP's booth. Uh, we run the NASP podcast. And I welcome back a friend of mine and someone who has been a huge support to the Pharmacy Podcast Network, uh, Jennifer Noonan with Accessia Health. Uh, you're back, Jennifer. I knew this was going to happen. I could have I could have predicted it. Uh, you're coming to the NASP in Nashville. I can't wait. It is the most exciting uh, meeting of the year. So I'm looking forward to heading my way to Nashville in, what is it now? I think eight days, nine days. Jeez. Yeah. I, I always wait to the last minute to do my flights, but this year I actually did them two weeks ago. So I'm all set because you just said that in a butterfly went in my stomach. I'm like, wait a second, that much close. Did I do my air airline tickets? Did I do it? And yes, I did. I have it all taken care of. So I'm ready to go. <laughs> Great. Did you get your room? Because we sold out of those real quickly this year. The numbers were um, moving up quickly as soon as registration opened. It was exciting to see the um, continued interest and in even more than we expected this year. Yes, we have our rooms. Um, the, the team has just been wonderful. Um, and it's just because of the collective minds, the innovative minds that are part of the board. Uh, you're part of the board of the NASP. Um, very proud of uh, the representation, the fact that you are a nurse and you've seen things from the patient's perspective. And now you're coming into leadership with the National Association of Specialty Pharmacies. And you're leading with the concepts of what Accessia's mission is. And that is to assure that uh, people can get their um, very sometimes expensive prescriptions paid for. I kind of want to just stop there and ask you to share with our listeners, what are you most excited about um, in going to the NASP 2024 in Nashville and, and what you'd like to talk about from Accessia Health's perspective? Yeah, I'm excited about a lot of different things, but I think if I had to pick just one, it would be um, finding out more about what it is that everyone else is seeing coming with the changes within the IRA, but most specifically how that impacts our specialty uh, pharmacy patients and providers. Um, I think that this is going to be the biggest uh, gathering of individuals that have lots of specialty uh -huh, in the specialty arena. See what I did there, Sheila, if you're listening. Uh, it was a, a very punny play on words, but I um, I ap appreciate that we're bringing some changes about to help make things more affordable for um, a large portion of the population. But I think there's still a lot of questions about exactly how that's going to impact individuals who are um, struggling to pay for their health care. And so finding that out and also making connections with people who can um, continue to help us with our mission throughout the year. Networking is so big at NASP. Um, you said you were excited I was back and you knew I'd be back, but it is a fact that as a nurse coming into a world that was filled with pharmacists and pharmacy and um, just as it was in my nursing world, very kind of focused on uh, those areas that were relevant to nursing. Um, in NASP, National Association of Specialty Pharmacy, was um, such a uh, integral part of my education on how specialty really um, interweaves in the lives of our rare patients and patients who have complex health problems. So that's probably it, the networking and getting to the bottom of how this is going to impact our, our patient population directly. The leadership that you provide the industry, I had a fascinating conversation with you at the Assembly event earlier this year really appreciate your insights and what it means to assure patients feel cared for, not only from the clinical perspective, uh, the way that their physicians engaging, and then of course their specialty pharmacies, but also uh, wrapping arms around them and letting them know, hey, we're in this with you from a payment perspective too. And that's that in and of itself would stress, that'd probably be the most stressful thing for me that if I felt 
I was putting that kind of pressure on my family um, to know that I had a, um, a payment partner that could assure um, that, that I was being, um, being supported. And that really plays into your guidance and your leadership with the session that you're going to be um, part of, Centers of Excellence in Patient Support Services. Can you give our listeners a little overview of, of this presentation? Um, yes, this is going to be um, very um, specifically focused on different centers of excellence and how they intertwine with the patients in this complex journey that they're on, but in particular, what um, Accessia Health hopes to lend to the conversation is the, is the patient's perspective, um, ensuring that we're keeping things focused with the patient in the center uh, of all of our processes in mind and recognizing that, like, as you mentioned, how scary it might be to have um, knowledge that there's this treatment in front of you that could help you um, live a healthier life, but you may never be able to afford it. Um, and then talking about those things, I think that's where it's important to play on the um, getting back to the individual and taking time to ask questions and find out what it is that people need um, so that we can help remove even just one layer of that burden. One more thing to be less stressed about um, as a patient that's going through what they are. Um, and then you're also going to be presenting on October 8th, and you're going to be doing and, and involved in a session called The Patient Behind the Prescription, Why the Specialty Pharmacy Experience Matters. Um, elaborate on that as well, Jennifer. I will. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about both panels, but the first uh, panel is one that I was brought on to a little bit later in the game. Um, this uh, panel that we're doing on the 8th, the patient behind the prescription, it's kind of um, born from an idea that we started um, back about a year and a half ago where um, we started really involving the perspective of the individual on the panels rather than um, trying to bring forward any kind of expertise on things that are clinical. We really wanted to um, empower patients to hear um, just stories directly from other people, but then also this particular panel is filled with individuals who have um, frontline um, experience dealing with patients day to day. We have a biologics coordinator who has been working um, in the, the practice setting for a long time. We have a pharmacist who has um, joined us who is going to help us understand her journey as a patient in the specialty journey, as well as her professional viewpoint of working also now in specialty. Um, and then we also have a nurse that's going to be on the panel who works directly in specialty pharmacy now and has their own experience in the world of complex medications and costly treatments. So for me, it's, I think, just going to be very exciting to see all these different viewpoints um, from people who have professional experience, but also have walked that very um, intimate, you know, uh, healthcare journey themselves, where they've received incredibly difficult or hard to um, understand or swallow news. And, and being able to provide both of those perspectives, I think, will be invaluable to providers uh, and um, caregivers alike. Jennifer, I can't think of a better testimony of patient care coming from a pharmacist, a nurse, a physician who has experienced the treatment themselves and what the system feels like and the testimony that they can provide. So that's gonna be a very powerful presentation. Now we're excited about it. All right, is there anything in Nashville that you're excited about that isn't necessarily part of the conference that you're looking forward to? Oh, I'm looking forward to the Gaylord. The, um, you know, the hotels are so nice. And even if it's raining outside or the weather isn't perfect, you always have this kind of a, an area that's serene and quiet, um, full of, you know, greenery and just lovely things to look at. So I'm excited about the hotel. Yeah. Every time I go to a Gaylord um, at a multitude of different conferences, there's one in Dallas that I've been to, Florida. 
and now uh, Nashville, it's always a, a wonderful experience, a great venue. So I'm all equally as excited about that. I am also. All right. We're excited and we're very proud to be part of the NASP. We'll be in the NASP's, NASP's booth. If you're listening to this, if Sheila sent this to you, if somebody from the NASP sent this to you, if you're part of the board of directors, if you are someone that is attending the event in any capacity of specialty pharmacy, and you would like to be part of the post show, please reach out uh, to our team at pharmacypodcast.com. Once again, that's pharmacypodcast.com. But I, I, before we wrap up, I do want to share that there is a special event coming up um, a free webinar series that's going to be coming up. Um, Jennifer, I'm excited about this from Accessia Health's leadership because you actually have CMS involved, and, and that's a pretty big organization, I would say, uh, to have on your webinar. So tell us about that. Yes, we're very excited to say that um, we have a two-part webinar coming up that is going to cover um, some of those changes that I mentioned from the um, IRA and so we have someone speaking directly from CMS on the second, and then we will have um, an additional follow-up where um, we have Bill Sorrell, who will be covering some of the legal impl implications um, and, and just help with understanding more uh, surrounding those changes that we're seeing in pricing. Um, so if you navigate to our website and go to the webinars, um, page, you will see right at the very top a, a place where you can register. You don't have to attend at the time of the event, although I uh, would suggest that the news is going to be hopefully hot off the press, so you might want to be there. But you can also see it as a follow-up if you just register for the event. So I would encourage folks to do that. Excellent. Yes. And if you're in the car, if you're driving, if you're walking and you're not watching us on YouTube or um, on video, don't worry about it. Uh, that link to that webinar will be in the show notes and we will um, uh, share that. So if you get uh, a podcast app, if you're listening to an Apple or Spotify, just go down to the show notes and it will be accessiahealth.org and it will take you uh, right to the Amplify Your Voice, Control Your Care, uh, the webinar series. Jennifer, I want to say thank you to you as you have been an amazing support of our publication and now, of course, supporting the NASP, not only from your board leadership, but also being involved in this programming that helps people that didn't get to attend the event and understanding um, the um, high level of uh, participation and the, the leadership that the NASP provides our specialty pharmacists. Oh, yes. Um Thank you so much for that. Um, I didn't mention the date of the second webinar. I did want to just throw that out there. They're October 3rd and October 10th. Um, and when you register, I believe you can register for both of the parts right then and there, um, but they are October 3rd and 10th. Um, I also wanted to just put a quick plug in there and explain the reason that I got involved with um, so many different aspects of NASP was because of the committees. And so just be on the lookout. Um, I'm sure I'll come and find folks there at NASP uh, if you don't show up, but we're going to be having um, a committee fair as well. Um, we'll send out uh, some information about when that is date and time, but just be on the lookout for that. It doesn't require a lot of extra time and it has been of huge benefit to me. For As a matter of fact, that's how I ended up finding almost all of these different folks for the webinar. So or for our, our series that we're doing at NASP was in the committees. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, for particip participating today on, on this special podcast featuring the NASP's preview, the NASP 2024 preview with Accessia Health as our press content sponsor of the NASP podcast, Accessia Health, we speak health and human. Very proud of that and proud of you. And I can't wait to see you in Nashville. Thanks, Todd. We'll see you soon.